Yo, yo, what's up, KP Squad? It's your boy, Kawhi Porpoise, and welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I'm going to be discussing more anime stuff. Woohoo! Um, sorry for the lack of games. Uh, if For those of you who actually like my gaming content, um, it's coming back. Don't worry. <laughs> it's on its way. Today, I thought I'd come on and talk more about animes that I have seen and want to see. I recently discussed my top five favorite anime as of the moment, um, and this time I thought I would dive deeper in and um, discuss the animes I've seen, rank them <laughs> on a scale of one to 10, one being bleh, and 10 being holy crap, I will show everyone this anime. I'm also gonna be discussing animes that I've seen a few episodes of and are currently on hold as of the moment. So to start off, to recap my top five favorite anime as of the moment right now, um, number one is My Hero Academia ranked at a 10 out of 10. I will literally always recommend that anime and show literally everyone that I know like at least a few episodes of it and be like, please tell me you like it because I swear to God. <laughs> number two, Jujutsu Kaisen. It's so good. Anyway, where's season two at? Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> number three, Demon Slayer, otherwise known as Kimetsu no Yaiba. Season three is coming soon. I can't wait. I freaking love it. Um, it has changed. My top five has changed just slightly. I swapped spots four and five um, since the last time that I spoke about this. Uh, number four now is Attack on Titan or Shingeki no Kyojin. And then number five is Death Note because that was the first anime that I ever watched and that was what got me introduced into anime and got me into anime. And I freaking love it. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, Jujutsu Kaisen was ranked, I believe it, a nine out of 10. Demon Slayer is ranked eight out of 10. Attack on Titans ranked eight out of 10. And Death Note is ranked a seven or 7.5 out of 10. To go on <laughs> from that. So the animes that I've seen in total, which means that I've seen like all episodes of season one, season two, or whatever seasons they have. Um, that doesn't include the movies though because some of them I still haven't watched the movies of. Um, all together, I've seen about 32 animes in total. However, the animes that I have started and have either on hold or am currently watching, so I don't have it as completed yet, is 61. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. 32 out of 61 of those I have watched in full. It's so bad. It's so bad. So, um, I'm going to be discussing the animes that I've completed, seen in total, and ranking them on a scale of 1 to 10, like I've said. So, starting uh, alphabetical order by English title, by the way. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in order of that. So, the first one on the list, of course, is Attack on Titan. I've already discussed this. If you want to go check that out, I made a video on my top five favorite animes. And Attack on Titan probably had the longest section because I had so much to say about it. But um, I'm completely caught up with every episode, every OVA. Um, I still have yet to catch up on the manga, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, and I've ranked that 8 out of 10 in total. So um, I've discussed that one already. Again, go check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, moving on to the next one that I've seen in full. I've seen both seasons of this. Uh, B stars. <laughs> one of my boy, one of my boyfriend's favorite animes. He hasn't seen that many himself, so um, I believe that's in his top five. He's reading the manga right now, and he's obsessed with it. <laughs> I'm not like obsessed with it like my boyfriend is, but I do like it. I've ranked it a seven out of ten. It is pretty good. I'm not gonna go in full detail about how much I like about these or what I have to say about them. Um, if you need, if you want me to make a separate video on that, I shall, but otherwise I'm just going to be listing off these and making jokes about them. Anyway, <laughs> uh, next on the list, Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad. I just, it's such an underrated older-ish anime that not many people know about. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> it's so good. It's a rock star band anime, I believe. <laughs> I believe that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I just, I really love this anime. I've ranked it a nine out of 10. It is really good. It's not in my top five, but it definitely is in my top 10. It is so good. I freaking love Beck. 
Anyway, the music is banger, by the way. <laughs> anyway, next on the list. So this one I have included, even though I have not seen all of season two, and I've not have not seen season three or any of the movies, but I did watch all of season four, and I am basing it off of seeing season four. Black Butler. <laughs> Ranked a 7 out of 10 for me. Fun fact, the mangaka of Black Butler is a woman and wanted to make it a yaoi, <laughs> which is a boy's love, but um, she decided, you know what? I want to go against the norms of being a female mangaka and I'm going to actually make this a good anime slash manga. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, Black Butler, 7 out of 10. I really do like that anime. I need to watch season two, even though it's not technically canon. Um, but <laughs> I can't find it anywhere besides on one of those shady websites. So who knows? <laughs> but I'm working on it. Anyway, on to the next one, Blue Exorcist. I don't know why I didn't include this in my top five because it was one of the first ones that I watched. It was actually the fifth anime I ever watched. <laughs> um, oh, going back to Black Butler, that was the fourth anime I ever watched. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, Blue Exorcist or All Blue Exorcist, fifth anime I ever watched and i was obsessed with it for the longest time um i considered rin to be one of my anime husbandos i literally have a body pillow of him hidden behind all my other pillows and stuffies <laughs> um but yeah <laughs> um i've ranked it an 8 out of 10. it is really good it is a really good anime it's another one of the ones that i will always recommend to people uh, for those who want to get into anime uh, i'm just like you know it's got demon stuff but like hey you know what it's still really good. <laughs> the story is great. I don't know. Rin is amazing. Okay. Um, so yeah, Blue Exorcist, 8 out of 10. Um, it's great. Still have not seen the second season, Kyoto Saga, or the movie. I feel like the movie was just kind of a recap, but I may be wrong. I haven't seen those yet. <laughs> but I've seen all of season one. So I'm, again, basing it off of that. Anyway. On to the next BNA or brand new animal. This one, I believe, was a Netflix original anime. Um, and it was surprisingly good for being a Netflix original anime. <laughs> um, not every Netflix anime is really the best, but there are some good ones. Again, like B Stars. <laughs> but yeah, BNA, um, I watched it and I did kind of like it. I liked the art style. It was really cutesy. It definitely reminded me of Kill a Kill. And it's got that sort of artistic style choice. Um, and I really liked that, but it was like, it was like kind of copying the Kill a Kill style. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but um, I did like uh, the two main characters from the show. And I, you know, I ended up actually kind of liking the anime, but it's not really up there for me per se personally so i've ranked it a six out of ten which is still good it's over halfway but um yeah <laughs> it's great <laughs> the next one on my list is showbits uh this is a i slit i think another slightly older ish anime um it, they had it on netflix one time and you know, i was like you know what my friend's seen it she said it was good i'ma watch it. it i think that i think showbits was the first shoujo anime that i ever seen um, I think it's considered shoujo. It's very girly-ish. <laughs> um, but that doesn't matter with all the gender, gender norms. Fuck the gender norms. <laughs> um, but yeah, Chobits was okay. Um, again, wasn't like, wow, I love this anime, but it was definitely pretty good. Um, I ranked it a six out of 10 in total. The ending still has me confused to this day, I think. But, um, yeah, other than that. <laughs> It's okay. Next on the list, <clears throat> Citrus. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. If you are an anime fan, if you are a weeb and you know this anime, I know what you're thinking. But hear me out. It was pretty good. Little weird based on the fact that they were kind of supposed to be siblings, but you know what? Other than that, <laughs> it was okay. And plus, Yuri. <laughs> plus, good old fashioned lesbian action. <laughs> so bad. I've ranked it a six out of 10. That's all I'm gonna say. On to the next one, yikes. Okay, the next one, I really like this one. Dead Man Wonderland, underrated for sure. It is so good. 
It's so good. And the opening is a banger. <laughs> but um, yeah, ranked eight out of 10. It's so good. <laughs> Next one on the list. I've talked about this before in the other video I mentioned, Death Note. This was the first anime that I ever watched ever in its entirety. And I definitely was in love with this anime when I had first watched it. I completed it. I was still upset about the ending, but you know what? It's okay. Um, I was like, holy crap. Where has anime been my whole life? Like ranked a seven out of 10. It should be higher to be honest, but I'm only ranking it a seven out of 10 because it is a little older-ish and it is a little outdated and they did my boy dirty. They did my boy dirty. <laughs> but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> um, yeah, Death Note is a really good anime. Um, that's another anime that I recommend to people only because that was the first anime that I watched. Um, it does have its like drama moments. It has its like kind of like really dark moments, but like there's some lighthearted uh, things in there as well here and there that kind of keep you like interested and you know, stuff like that. And it's just, it is really good. It's very well known as well. Uh, next on the list, which again, I've talked about this one as well, Demon Slayer, otherwise known as Kimetsu no Yaiba. I have ranked it eight and a half out of 10. <laughs> eight, eight and a half out of 10. Um, Cause I've, I've watched all of season one and season two. I watched the movie, which the movie, we don't talk about it, but another did my boy dirty. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, season three is coming out soon. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I would love to meet the Mist Hashira more. He seems adorable. I relate. <laughs> I cannot wait. Fuck the love Hashira. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Mitsuri is okay, but like, she's a little thirsty. She need to calm down. <laughs> anyway, next on the list. Devil's Line. I had never heard of this anime before in my life. I saw it on Hulu one day and I was like, hey, an anime, cool. <laughs> I'll just add that to my list, boop. And Curia, I, like, I was reading about it. I saw like the um, the screen art um, or like the, the poster art or whatever. Um, I was looking through the episodes. I was looking at the thumbnails of the episodes and I was like, it piqued my interest. I was like, I'm kind of interested in this. I want to know what's going on in this. And um, I watched it and it was pretty good. Um, I've ranked it about a six and a half to seven out of 10. Um, it was okay. It was pretty good. Um, the ending was a little disappointing, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, I, uh, to be kind of vulgar here, I really thought they were going to fuck, but <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> But anyway, aside from that, a quick synopsis of Devil's Line. It's like vampires meets NCIS. <laughs> it's like, it's a detective show with vampires. That's all I can say about it to not give it away. Um, I wouldn't highly recommend it, but if you're into like that kind of stuff, like a little darker stuff maybe, and you're weird and like vampires and kind of kinky like that, I say go for it. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I don't really highly recommend it, but it's still an anime. So either way, I do recommend watching it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on from there to <clears throat> free, <laughs> free Iwatobi Swim Club. And season two was known as Eternal Summer. Um, I still have not watched season three or the movie. Oops. <laughs> um, I used to be obsessed with free for a while. Um, and then after season two, then they took forever to come out with a movie and a season three. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna kind of fall off of it and go watch some other animes. And I totally forgot about free. I literally forgot it existed <laughs> until someone brought it up one day and I was like, holy crap, I forgot this existed, but it's still ranked an eight out of 10 on my list. <laughs> it is really good, especially if you're <clears throat> a girl or, you know, like the boys. It's got a lot of that like fan service catered towards those who like boys. So like, cause it's a swimming anime. It literally shirtless boys constantly every single episode. <laughs> so, you know, if that's your thing, if you like competitive swimming, but you also like drama and you like slightly the gays and you like shirtless boys, go for it. Great, <laughs> it's up your alley. <laughs> Otherwise, um, you know, it's still one to watch. 
um besides it being a little gay um it's really not that bad i swear um it's actually pretty good again ranked out eight out of ten on to the next anime that i've completely watched in full girlish number um this one was okay i wasn't like the hugest fan um the art style and like the animation and the like color coding or whatever you want to call it all the colors and stuff were very cutesy um very girly ish but it wasn't like completely for girls i don't know what genre you put it in it you probably could put it in shoujo but um the synopsis is voice acting the main character wants to be a voice actor and she's pretty shit at it ironically when the voice actor for this character is really good at voicing her but really bad at, at or really good at pretending to be bad it was really funny um i thought it was kind of fun but yeah wasn't like a huge fan of it i liked it i ranked it a six out of ten yeah i really have nothing else to say about that anyway moving on to haikyuu haikyuu chef's kiss amazing um or as my friend calls it hype q <laughs> i've seen season one and season two um i have not seen season three or four yet <laughs> I know that the manga is fully finished and completed. I actually had started reading the manga back in high school and I stopped in the section that's kind of like halfway through season three. So I know what happens in the first half of season three, but not the second half and onwards. I want to get back into reading that manga because I really, really, really do like Haikyuu. It is so good. It is such a lovely series i've ranked it at eight out of ten yeah it's really good volleyball boys i love my volleyball boys and currently obsessed with bokuto but don't worry about it <laughs> but um yeah haikyuu is definitely one that i recommend as well to people starting to get an anime i'm like hey you like sports you like volleyball you like jazz there you go. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Moving on to one that uh, some people have some love-hate relationships with, um, but I was obsessed with this for the longest time. This was the third anime that I ever watched in its entirety. That means all of season one through six, as well as the movie, Hitalia. <laughs> I watched the dub, by the way not the subbed. I'm sure the subbed is just as good, but the dubbed is so funny because the things that they say <laughs> is so outlandish and I love it. Literally just countries personified as people. It's great. <laughs> it has its slightly gay moments, which is hilarious. I know they're just making jokes about it, but God, it is so funny. Either way, Hitalia, I've ranked eight out of 10. I was obsessed with this anime. Like I said, for the longest time during high school, I was like always talking about it. Me and my friends had this weird thing. Um, you know, we were high schoolers and we were cringy as all hell. So we had this weird LARPing thing going on where we would LARP as some of the characters. It was pretty weird and pretty bad when I think about it now. I was like three different characters because I was like, I relate to all three of these guys. Yeah, we were pretty cringe back then. <laughs> but either way, Hitalia, eight out of 10. I love to show my friends clips from it or just episodes in general because every episode is five minutes long. Hello, you can blast through that shit in no time. <laughs> I love to show my friends that that show and they just like look at it and they watch it and they're like, what the hell is going on? And I'm like, exactly. <laughs> That's the main <laughs> point of the show. You don't know what the fuck's going on. You just know that they're all countries personified as people and it's teaching you world history, but in a really funny and weird way. And it's great. It actually helped me with my world geography and my world history, trust. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, Jujutsu Kaisen. I've talked about this one before in my other video. I've ranked it a nine out of 10. It is so good. I'm ready for season two. Gojo, <laughs> Sukuna, <laughs> Nanami, all of them. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Um, Again, I know what you're gonna be thinking, but um, I want you to keep your comments to yourself. Junjo Romantica. This is a yaoi, by the way. This is a boys love anime or manga series. I read the manga in its full entirety, and then I watched the anime in its entirety. Manga, anime, same thing, literally, frame by frame. Um, so there's really no saying, hey, the manga was better or the anime was better. Either way, it is 
a yaoi. It is a censored yaoi though. Do not worry. <laughs> Kept my little virgin eyes from <laughs> seeing everything. <laughs> um, anyway, it was okay. I ranked it six out of 10. It literally is just your run of the mill yaoi. But like, I ranked it a six out of 10 because the art style or the way that the mangaka like drew the characters is a little like weird for me like they had like teeny tiny little heads and big big diamond bodies and like huge hands by the way <laughs> that's where the joke yaoi hands comes from grabby grabby <laughs> yeah that that's what threw me off with it i was like this is not proportional <laughs> but i'm watching it reading it anyway <laughs> um but yeah it's six out of ten i'm not gonna say any more about it and make anyone uncomfortable I'm gonna just move on here to the next one. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, otherwise known as Kobayashi Sanchi no Maido Dragon. I've watched season one, have not yet watched season two. I know it's out. Um, I am working on it. <laughs> um, but I really liked season one. I really like this anime. It's so cute and it's so funny. And of course the dragons have these massive tits because literally D stands for dragon, which also stands for cup size apparently, unless you're Kana, who is like a million years old, but looks like a tiny little child. <laughs> Don't understand it. But either way, it's pretty, it's really good. Seven out of 10, I've ranked it. Not much else to say about it, except that um, I will be getting season two eventually soon, hopefully. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Again, I've talked about it before. It's my literally, it's literally my top one favorite anime as of the moment, My Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia. I've seen all seasons and I've seen all movies and I'm caught up with the manga. Where is the next chapter, by the way? <laughs> I could go on and on and on about this anime and I could go on and on and on about certain characters from this anime. Um, as you can tell by like Sir here and um, he fell over, but Sir here and uh, these two Sirs back here. <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with this anime at the moment. Don't know when that's gonna ever go away, but here we are. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I've ranked it 10 out of 10. It's freaking amazing. Again, it's one of the animes that I will highly recommend to anyone getting an anime. Just like, if you want to get an anime, a good one to start with is My Hero Academia because it's got its dark moments, it's got its humorous moments, and it's just a superhero anime. And, you know, everyone loves superheroes, I guess. <laughs> or villains, because there's a lot of villain stuff in there too, so. Um, and the characters are not as fleshed out as some other animes could be, um, but there are a couple of characters who have really good development and really good growth in the series. <clears throat> but like, yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> moving on before I um, cry about how much I love it. Uh, Noragami, this anime, I have not seen it in so long, but I always listen to the openings because the openings are really bad guys. But I've seen both seasons, season one and season two, uh, Noragami and Noragami Aragoto. Um, I've ranked it at eight out of 10. It is a really good anime. Another one that I would highly recommend to anyone getting an anime or being like, hey, what's another anime that I should watch? I'm always like, have you seen Noragami yet? Have you seen Noragami? <laughs> it is so good. so good. Again, I don't know what else to say about all these animes, so I'm just kind of listing them off as we go. Moving on. Uh, One Punch Man. <laughs> I've seen season one. I have not seen the season. I have not seen season two yet. I'm pretty sure there is a season two. I just haven't seen it yet, but I have watched all of season one and I've ranked it a seven out of 10. It is pretty good. Um, it's definitely like, I don't know how to explain it because it's very like humorous, especially with the main character, but it's, it's just kind of your run of the mill, like shonen. Uh, and with a little bit of comedy mixed into it, like put them in a mix and bulge. So there's really not much else to say about it, <laughs> but um, it is fun because he's just like, there's all these like different superheroes around him and this man can knock you all the way to Timbuktu with one fucking punch. <laughs> and like, he's like the most powerful one and nobody ever recognizes him for it really. And I'm just like, Guys, <laughs> open your eyes, wake the fuck up. But um, either way, I'm gonna move on now to Oran High School Host Club. <laughs> this one was the second anime I ever watched in its entirety. 
so good. It is a really good anime. Um, I've ranked it eight out of 10. Again, your run of the mill shoujo romance anime, but it's got so much comedy mixed in with it that anyone could literally love this anime. There's so much comedy in it. It's definitely rom-com, but it is mostly comedy with a little romance mixed into it more along those lines of that. And yes, there is a little bit of gay in it, but you know what, you would overlook it because most of the romance is actually hetero. <laughs> um, also, another thing to say about it, where the fuck is season two? Where the fuck is season two? Literally, the season one left out on a cliffhanger or something. It left off on like a note where it's like, okay, where's more then? Where's season two? <laughs> Um, most likely we will never get a season two of Warren High School Most Club. So if you want to know what's happening, uh, I suggest go reading the manga. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna move on now to Parasite the Maxim. I watched this anime back when I started, like before I went into college. Um, so right after I graduated high school, I watched this anime and it is dark. Um but it's dark in a fun way, I guess you could say. Unless you're talking about like the first couple episodes, then it's a little like, <laughs> but it gets a little more lighthearted from there in a way, but it's still a pretty dark anime, um, but it is really good. I ranked it a seven out of 10. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to Samurai Flamenco. This anime, I found it on Netflix one day and I was like, oh, never heard of that i'm looking for new animes to watch watch it it's definitely interesting um i really liked it when i first watched it and i kept saying that it was very underrated nobody knew what it was never nobody had heard of it but here i am ranking it a six out of ten <laughs> but for one reason and one reason only it's because of the knock off power rangers <laughs> Nobody asked for that. <laughs> Where did they even come from? What was that about? Airway. <laughs> it's a six out of 10 on my list. It's all right, but it's not the best. But I'm moving on to one that I've recently come into a new uh, obsession with because I watched it with my best friend recently while I visited, when I visited her. Skate the Infinity. Hey, bitches and bros and non-binary hoes. This anime is so good. So fun and it's adorable, but it's also sad because sadness. <laughs> Reki is best boy. What's up, my bitches and bros and non-binary hoes? <laughs> Most quotable line from any anime I think I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, I, when I first watched it, I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna rank it by like a eight out of 10. Watched it with my friend, rewatched it again. And I was like, wow, this anime is way better than I remember it being. <laughs> and so now it's bumped up to nine out of 10. It is <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I, freaking love it. I never thought I would need a skateboarding anime in my life till I watched Skate. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna just go ahead and move on because this video is probably getting really long now. I'm gonna move on to Soul Eater. I watched all of Soul Eater, not the new version that they came out with because that one apparently only released in Japan and I don't think it's available anywhere else. <laughs> Last time I heard, but that was like years ago when I heard that, but yeah, I watched all Soul Eater. I actually have it up on my wall over here. You can't see it, but um, yeah, Soul Eater was another one of the earlier animes that I watched and it is so fun. And the humor in it is so, <laughs> I love how humorous it is in like the first half of the, the series. Um, of course, throughout the second half, like it starts to get more serious because more intense things happen. But yeah, Soul Eater, really good. I've ranked it an eight out of 10. Don't know what else to say about it, except that I like it. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> Obviously I have it up on my wall. <laughs> Got about five left to go through. So I'm gonna make this quick. Next up um, on my list of fully completed animes, uh, The Promise Neverland. I've ranked that a seven out of 10. I thought it was really good. Um, the opening to the first season is a banger. Um, the premise of the show is actually really fucking dark and sad, 
but it is a really good anime, so 7 out of 10, therefore. Moving on, Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. I really liked the art style and the the colors of this anime, so that's why it is a ranked a 7 out of 10 for me. Tokyo Ghoul. I've watched all season 1 season 2. I have not watched Tokyo Ghoul Re. Um, I think that's how you say Re or Re, <laughs> uh, which is technically season 3 of Tokyo Ghoul. I have not watched that one yet, but I have watched 1 and 2. Um, I've ranked that a 7 out of 10 as well. Um, I really, really do like Tokyo Ghoul. The openings are bangers, <laughs> the endings are bangers, but um, yeah, the ending to season two, uh, sad, too sad, too much sad. Next up, Tokyo Revengers. I have not fully completed this anime. I'm actually currently watching it, but we are so close to being done. I'm watching it with my friend, the friend I said that I watched Skate with. We are watching it as of right now. We're trying to finish it together. So I'm waiting to watch more of it with her, um, but Again, we're almost done. So therefore, I have decided to rank this because we've seen pretty much most of it by now. Um, I've got it ranked an 8 out of 10. It is really good. I am enjoying it a lot. And um, I am relating to the main character. So. <laughs> but um, I actually have a video going up probably within the end of this month or hoping around the beginning of next month. Um, it's going to take a bit to um, complete, uh, but in it, me and my friend that I've said, uh, Willow, as you've met her before in the last one we did together, guessing the anime songs, we filmed a video together dressed as Takamichi and Mikey from Tokyo Avengers. So, um, got that going out, got that to look forward to. But that video is going to take a little while because we decided that uh, Willow's going to be drawing some scenarios from the video um, to put in there, and you'll see what I mean when it comes out. But anyway, I'm going to move on to my last anime that I've watched in its entirety, Your Lie in April, otherwise known as Shigatsu Akimi no Uso. <laughs> um, I've ranked this a 6 out of 10. It is pretty good. The music is nice. I really did like it. The art style again, like that, like the, the, it has that specific um, artistic styling um, that I really liked. Uh, but the only reason I ranked it six out of ten is because the main girl of that show was low key kind of a bitch, and she got what she deserved in the end. I know that's a very very um, unpopular opinion, but I don't care. She was mean. <laughs> But anyway, that's all the animes that I have seen as entirety and all of their rankings. I have quite a bit of other animes that are on hold or that I'm currently watching as of right now. Real quick, I'm just gonna mention here that uh, when I say that, yeah, I'm a weeb or I'm an otaku, um, it's technically not true because there are so many animes that I plan on watching someday. You know how many animes there are in the world? Probably like a million. <laughs> Out of that million, I have completed 32 of them, but the animes that I still plan on watching one day total up to 141. <laughs> Wish me luck, my god. <laughs> but anyway, this video is probably really boring, but you know what? I don't care. I just wanted to talk about anime <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm getting back into watching more of it right now as of this moment. I am working on 22-7, otherwise known as Nanabu no Nijuni. I've only got three episodes watched so far because I've been watching it at work around the time when I get distracted, but that's my own fault. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for maybe possibly enjoying it. If you didn't, that's okay. If you did, leave a like. If you like me, go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell. I upload every Friday and Saturday. As of now, that could change. Who knows? And anyway, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. So um, until then, stay you, stay true, and stay quiet. See ya. <laughs>